Escape from Alcatraz. Escape from L.A. The Great Escape. The Great Muppet Caper. The Lavender Hill Mob. The Italian Job. Stalag 17. The Getaway with McQueen. All of these pale in comparison to what I pulled off. Um, at least that's what I thought as a drunken 17-year-old when I stole a six-foot-long, 50-pound styrofoam sandwich. I should maybe explain a little bit. Um, if anyone here uh, grew up uh, a little young and rebellious in the suburbs, um, you probably went through this period of uh, vague resistance um, where uh, I like to say that the rage against the machine was the soundtrack, but the machine was ill-defined and the rage was only intermittent. Um, <laughs> And what we wanted was like a protest or, a, um, or maybe a war to fight in or a war to protest, but we couldn't really find those in suburban West Bloomington. So um, instead, we stole road signs. Um, that's how we stuck it to the man. I'm very similar to Che Guevara. We were very close. Um, <laughs> Now, they all had their different values, even in this communist system. Um, the, 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 a temporary construction sign worth relatively little. Um, a, a stop sign worth quite a bit more. Um, my, my friend Scott had the prize of the lot. It was clipped from the side of the Parks Department building and read, um, please place all dog feces in proper receptacles. Um, and we didn't really think it was weird that he hung that above his bed, either. Um, <laughs> Uh, in fact, um, you know, we thought it was cool, and when I saw Jenny, who I was in love with, our little rebel leader, when I saw her eyeing it with envy, I just knew I had to do, her, do him one better. Um, so walking through Cub Foods at like uh, 4 a.m., um, you know, we were looking for Robitussin because we had bad coughs. Um, <laughs> we saw it hanging from the ceiling of the deli department, and I said... I'm going to take that. And then Jenny's eyes got wide, and she said, really? And uh, if I didn't mean it at first, I sure as fuck meant it now. So, <laughs> so Nate and I are standing on stools that we've uh, pulled over from the deli counter, and then Scott is, is looking. Uh, he's the lookout for the night manager, and we're sawing away at the styrofoam where it connects to the wire. And, um, and, and, and he gets his in free, and then it's swinging back and forth, but I can't get my in free. And then Scott's saying, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. So I just pull super hard and just leave this little shred of pickle hanging back and forth. And then we all run into the men's handicap bathroom. Three guys, three girls, and one giant sandwich. <laughs> and we're waiting for sirens, you know. We're like, hmm. But, um, you know, they didn't notice the missing sandwich yet. I don't know how. But, um, so we start making plans, okay? And um, these are, are those sort of drug-addled, like, Larry, Moe, and Curly-style plans. Um, this is true. Someone actually suggested <laughs> that we, we put a uh, coat and hat on the sandwich and then just walk out, you know, as if... <laughs> This? No, that's not a sandwich. That's, that's our friend. Sandwich. I don't um, So eventually, uh, Scott scouts out this escape route, and then we all dodge back and forth down the aisles, uh, uh, you know, surrounding the sandwich to hide it as if uh, it's the president and we're the Secret Service when they've spotted a shooter. You know, we're hiding the sandwich. And then we get to the final obstacle, which is the deli counter, okay? It's the, it's the only person where, the place where, where there's this guy, he's still there, and it comes to, up to about here, okay? And he's back there, and, and, and we're over here, and there's no way around it. And uh, we're about to give up, but I look Jenny in the eye and I say, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> and I put the sandwich on the ground and then kick it along while talking to the man behind the counter. And I say, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, what's that? Oh, oh shaved hand. Okay, great. Well, th thank you. And then we're free, right? But now the night manager has spotted us, and he's doing that. Um, he's not running, but he's doing that fast walk that you do when you want to get somewhere fast, but you don't want people to laugh at you for running. So he's like, you know, doing that thing. And then he's going, and then he's going hey, hey, hey. And my comrades just leave me. They run. But I grab the sandwich you know, put it under my arm like a football, charge through the doors, and the hatchback is waiting out there, already running, and the hatch is open, and they start to pull away seriously, and I toss it in first, because it is the treasure, and then I jump in, and then I'm falling out, and Nate grabs me, and then we got the sandwich. We got the sandwich. <laughs> um, 
So the thing is, is that uh, this, this did not, um, of course, lead me to actually get uh, Jenny because despite my heroics um, in the grocery, I was much more like Ducky than Indiana Jones in my dealings with women. Um, but also, uh, when you think about it, you know, having a Hollywood Indian, just, just all it is is anything could be a Hollywood Indian. It just is what point you pick to roll the credits at. So I picked to roll the credits at us pulling away, me as the conquering hero, and we are blasting back and the music is pouring out the windows of our cars like water from a lake-dredged vehicle. And then Jenny looks back at me and smiles. And I look up at her and I pat the sandwich. <laughs> and then I grab my Stussy cap and I even do a little bit of this, pretending for all the world that it's Mr. Jones' weathered leather signature Stetson.